Well, hello YouTube. Welcome to Captain Dave's Sport Fishing YouTube channel, Jacksonville, Florida. And what am I doing? Well, I'm sharpening a knife. A Civivi folder here. And it's quite a story. Quite a story. And that's the only reason I'm even passing this on. Is I get a phone call a couple hours ago from a guy and he said he's visiting from Louisiana and he was looking to have somebody sharpen his knife. He's just here a week. He's just visiting. He should have called and done a fishing charter is what he should have done. But he is from the west side of... Originally, I think, he, I don't know where exactly where he lives now, but he told me he's from the west side of Lake Pontchartrain in Louisiana, near the Bonacary Spillway. And I've studied all that over there. I've studied it high and low. As a matter of fact, right in front of my laptop is an entire map of Lake Pontchartrain area. And New Orleans and the river and Slidell and Mandeville and where else? It's actually a, a chart from the Lake Pontchartrain Basin Foundation. And they put out this beautiful chart of the area over there. And he's from the west side of Lake Pontchartrain area. And we get to talking, and he's here just like a week. And what did he do? He has this Civivi knife, this, this little folder right here, about a three-inch blade, uh, liner lock. And the funny thing about it was, is he calls around, and he ran this knife while he was here, I think through one of those carbide V sharpeners where you pulls, pull it through and it just rips the, it just rips the steel right off of your knife. Well, he, he knew he screwed it up. So he's sitting around and he's thinking, Oh my gosh, can I find somebody to sharpen this knife? And he happens to call the bait shop that I use. Well, in the bait shop, I have one of my signs. And the guy at the bait shop says, no, we don't sharpen knives, but we know a guy that does. And he goes, oh, great. And he gives him my phone number. I'm over at my parents' house, which is down the street from me. <coughs> and he says, hey, I got this knife and, uh, you know, it was sharp and it's not really sharp anymore. And he tells me what he did to it. And I said, well, I ain't doing nothing. I'll meet you at the bait shop. And he's staying not far from the bait shop himself. He says, oh, okay. Uh, you know, what, it'll, what will it be? And I said, well, you know, 20 bucks. Because I got to run back and forth, you know. And it's not that far. I mean, it's four minutes from my house. But I ran from my parents all the way over to the bait shop. And he pulls up and he pulls out the Civivi knife. So we look at it. We get to talking. And I said, where are you from in Louisiana and everything? To make a long story short, I actually know more geographically and things than he does. And he grew up there. He went to high school there. He, I, don't, I, I think he lives there now. I'm not sure. But he said he's, he went from being out in kind of the country. And he's like, he said, oh, I'm in the big city now. So I don't know what that means. But... Um, so we start talking about fishing. He's got an express aluminum boat, which is a bay boat. Uh, it's, you know, it's a John, John boat style uh, aluminum bay boat that's very popular over there. And he starts talking, telling me about the fishing and, and catfish and bass and redfish and trout and everything. And I start tell, asking him if he's, you know, ever heard of, you know, the Matrix Shad and if 
you ever heard of Chad Champagne over at Slide L and all this stuff. And he's like so surprised that he bumps into a guy in Jacksonville, Florida that knows so much about the Louisiana, uh, New Orleans area. So I thought that was really kind of unbelievable. I mean, you know, for me to run around and pick up his one little knife. But, you know, you see, you do something like that and you bump into somebody. So now his name's Joe. I can say, I got a friend in Louisiana. You know, I mean... It's, it's just one of those things. It's, you know, I so much would love to be able to live and guide and fish and do everything over there, you know, but who the heck knows. But I believe me and my dad are going to plan a trip over to New Orleans. We're going to fly there from Jacksonville in February, possibly. And I'm going to go to the Hanko's uh, aluminum boat place that builds aluminum boats. I should, I might be able to put a picture in right in here in this area of the video of the one that I'm very interested in. And there's just stuff I'd like to see over there, you know. Uh, I've been there, but it was like eight years ago. We drove and it was such a brutal drive to go down I-10 to go straight over there. So I'm fixing up his knife here. I'm putting a 20 degree edge on it. I'm up to a 600 grit right now. And just because I like Joe. And we, we had a fun time talking about the differences between here and there. They don't even worry about tides. He doesn't worry about moon phases. He, he doesn't worry about anything when he fishes over there. He actually said to me, well, really the only thing for specks and reds that you need to know is you go in the marsh, you find a point, and you throw a gold spoon. And he says, and you'll catch all you ever want. Really? <laughs> I wish it was that easy here. But see, they don't have any big water like, like we got. I mean, they got the river, of course. But he's all fishing in the marshy areas or he's fishing and you know fresh water and things like that so i might even because i'm here now i might as well do it take an extra 10 minutes and i could probably put a bit of a mirror edge on this knife for him so i don't want to pull it out of the uh vice here but it's just a little g10 sided civivi folder and I said to him, how'd you get this? Did you buy it online? And he says, oh, no, a friend of mine works at a chemical company, which there's tons of them over there. And he says he gets them in a vending machine at the chemical company. And I said, what? There's Civivi knives, folders in vending machines? He goes, oh, yeah, they got this vending machine. He said, it's got knives in it. It's got really high dollar work gloves and stuff that you can buy right there in a vending machine. Well, that's different. I never heard about buying a damn folding pocket knife in a vending machine. Go figure. And then, of course, since I was over at my parents' house, my mom gives me her favorite Japanese-made bread knife. And let's see, I can't remember what this is. It is a Damco. It's a 60 CR MOV 15 bread knife. And it's got the scallops in it, as you can see here. And she's like, this thing's so dull, I can't cut my English muffins in the morning. And I'm like, oh, okay. So I'm going to put an, ed an edge back on this. I'm sure I've done this before. But it's Japanese. I've never heard of that before. It's actually X60CRMOV15. That's a hell of a blade steel. 
I don't know what that is. This doesn't have anything on it, this Civivi. I'm thinking it's like Aus 8, or it might be, uh, if it's a little high dollar bit of a knife, I don't think it's a super high dollar knife, it might be D2. So um, I'm going to put a wicked edge, of course, on this and give it back to Joe tomorrow because he's going to a Jaguars game, football game, I believe he said. And um, I'm going to take it back over, meet him at the bait shop again. But isn't that something? I mean, here's a guy who lives there and I'm asking him about stuff and, you know, but then again, from where he grew up, to some of the places I'm talking about, it's like Jacksonville to Daytona, you know. Um, it's far away. I mean, Lake Pontchartrain takes up this giant part, and he's way over here, and over here is Slide L, and uh, over here is the border with Mississippi, and there's all this water over here. So you kind of always fish where you're near where you're at. You know, like I do. I'm not a big traveler. I'm not going to be towing a 26-foot boat through traffic and everything. So I thought I'd just pass that on that um, I bump into a guy from Louisiana who's on vacation and he needs his pocket knife sharpened. So I figured, what the hell? I'll do it. So there you go, and not much else going on at this moment. I'm doing some projects on the boat coming up here. Finished one project this morning, and I got a big, big project coming up here. I'm just waiting for all the parts and the pieces. So it might be first or second week in January that I'm going to be doing a big project. Big to me, and big in scope, too. I'm doing a, I'm doing a project on the Jetty Wolf. So, of course, I'll be doing a video of that, too. So, and then don't forget, probably going to have that live stream coming up on January 8th. January 8th is, yeah, Sunday at 6 p.m. Sundays at 6 p.m. normally. We're just skipping because of the holidays here. But January 8th at 6 p.m. doing the live stream. All right, and we're going to, I don't know what we're going to talk about, but it'll definitely be something fishing and boating, and maybe even knives. You never know. So I'll see you on the next one.